Uh, Frank Warren Bill with Andy Lee and Billy Joe Saunders topping it. Uh, you've also got Liam Smith fighting Jimmy Kelly, the WBO uh, title of my weight. It's, it's a massive build, but I'm fighting Chris Carslow and defending my Commonwealth title and obviously and for the vacant British title. Yeah, it will, because they'll mould. When you first put your hand in, it, it feels uncomfortable, claustrophobic, doesn't it? But they'll mould around your hands. Big opportunity for me, considering I've been out for 12 months as well. It's good, very good fight for me to come back into. I'm very much looking forward to it. Is there a danger that going straight into a British title fight after such a long layoff, um, is there any danger of any any ring rest or any um, sort of losing your sharpness? No, I don't believe so because obviously I've had a couple of months out of the gym, but I've been back and I've been sparring for a long time now, and uh, I don't know, I, I don't think it should be any problem. I feel as long as I feel 100% on the night, I'm I'm pretty sure the job will get done. I've been in the gym for, I'd say, around about 12 weeks now already, still four weeks out, so it's been a long camp, but I've needed that to get me back on the form, which I was last going off, so yeah, I'm, I'm back in full swing of things now, and um, it's going just as good as it would have been for any other fight, so I'm, I'm very confident. If somebody asked me what style he was, yeah. to be honest, I, I wouldn't really be able to say that he's a certain style because he done. It's, yeah, he's got. He fights in a couple of different styles, really. Um, you know, he can. Sometimes he tries being a technical boxer. Sometimes he'll, you know, put the pressure on. But he, he switches a lot. Um, yeah, he's, he does everything well, but I don't believe he does. He does nothing great, so. Just, just see how it goes on the night, and I'll be prepared for whatever he's got. Where's the black and gold shorts? Please welcome from Paisley, Scotland, Chris Carslow. And across the ring in the blue corner stands a man with an unbeaten record of 12 wins, one draw, with seven KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 10, 13, 1. And tonight, he wears the red and white shorts. Please welcome the Commonwealth Super Welterweight Champion from Clinac Vale, Wales, Liam Williams. Well, it's not taking sides to say that you have to be pleased to see Liam Williams back in a boxing ring. So much talent injured back in April 2014, had to have surgery and as you heard was told at one stage it's all over, you're not going to be able to fight again but here he is and feeling so good about it, had a word with him earlier on and understandably a few, a few nerves I'm sure about his ring return but he's just delighted to be back earning a living doing what he does so well. Carl Slaw, 31 years old from Paisley in Scotland, the older man by eight years, this is Second challenge for the title, he lost his first on points to Brian Rose back in June 2012. No, no disgrace in that and gets this opportunity on beating John Thane and a good win that was. Had to wait for Williams' damaged hand to heal. It was a formerly Cast Law a kickboxer to a very high standard. Law trying hard to get onto the front foot and trying to knock Williams out of his stride. Tommy Gilmore, Cast Law's manager, said that he knows and they know how good Williams is and how much Cast Law absolutely needs to be on his A game and not take right hands like that, nor indeed left hooks like that. This is good pressure from Williams. Lovely left hand as well, right in the face of Cast Law, but not stifling his work, finding telling shots. It's the younger guy. No Scots at the moment Williams. hold either British or Commonwealth titles. Great boxing tradition north of the border, of course, but it's looking good for the first when he lands on when he's And the hurt is staying. Is he going to be able to rise? I suspect he is. Before that left hook of the body there from Williams. 
what a great attack from Liam Williams. Looking like he's never been away. He's looking terrific in there. And Castle getting through, getting through to the bell to end a dramatic first round. And what a round from Williams. Well, it's looking like a hard, hard night for Chris Castle now. Liam Williams, a great start. You know, he's never been past eight rounds, Liam Williams. He's never had to, and you can understand why watching there. First defeat, first defence of the title. He won by beating Michael Lomax this for Liam Williams. The back end of 2014. Oh, no. He pulls face first, it's all over. It's been waved over. Well, what a return that is for Liam Williams. Brilliant. Brilliant. And he sends a message out that he is back, back emphatically. Now the British champion as well as the Commonwealth champion. Good to say that Chris Carslaw is now back on his feet. But Liam Williams, he was nervous, Barry, and you can understand why. But what a return to the ring. What a return to the ring. What a way to win a British title. What a, to knock someone out with a jab there, that's just tremendous stuff, really is. Just, oh, and what a statement he's made as well. You know, the British, like Middleweed scene at the moment, is absolutely buzzing. Really nervous. <laughs> but I do enjoy it as well a little bit. No, no Liam's on his first contest in 12 months? Nervous, right. because I didn't know how we would do after having that long off. But obviously he's done him good. I always say everything happens for a reason. So that's obviously why. How do you feel when he's about to start boxing? How do you feel emotional? Oh, awful. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, but then once he starts and I can see he's doing OK, I calm down a little bit then. And how did you feel when the, when the fight was over and then it was Liam as the... I couldn't believe champion. it. I, I didn't expect it to be over that quickly. I thought it was going to be quite a, a tough fight and a long fight, but uh, it wasn't. So that's nice. I didn't have to be stressed for too long. So, yeah, it's good. Till the next one. Yeah, till the next one. And, uh, yeah, it's only going to get worse. Joys. <laughs> just, just so proud of him. It's brilliant. Unbelievable. I'm just going to look gigantic now. You all run, Eve. You all run. Oh, right, yeah, um, just it is what it is, and it? it was, I've, you know, I landed early and um, it's game over. It yeah. happens most of the time when you land flush, just name of the game, innit? But you yeah, know, you know, you were obviously very confident going into the fight. Was there still an element of doubt in your mind, fair mind, this first fight? Yeah, it, it was no doubt, but. Obviously, just just for nerves and um, you know, I was just worried. Maybe he's a little bit of ring rust, but uh, I'm good. Good, enjoyed it. Carzo's been the distance with with a, quite a few established names. He's been the distance with Michael Sorrell, um, Damian Yonak, Brian Rose. All right, Brian's not a massive puncher, but he did well in that fight to go the distance, and he, he made the fight close. And um, he's a he's a tough, very mentally tough guy. And um, you know, if I'm honest, I didn't expect it to go that early, but. Um, I, you know, Liam's been punching really, really, really hard this camp, and maybe the 13 months out has done him really good. But I know he's obviously he's had the hand, the hand operation. He's a lot more confident in letting his punches go now as well. So I think um, he's, he's very, very heavy-handed. And and who would have thought in his first three fights when he was throwing when he was throwing 100, 200 punches around and, and wasting most of them? You know, he's he's, he's becoming a, a complete fighter now, a, a boxer puncher, and. Um, you know, I'm just really, I'm really, I'm over the moon. Down much more on jab, like just shut down a little bit. Because he, um, as he came in, it just worked, like yeah. pushed down around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of those went to do it sparring. Yeah, but it weren't. They weren't. I was like up straight. Was he stood south bar at the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better. You've gone to it. Yeah, but he stepped forward as well, didn't he? Switched right onto it. I thought it felt push. Beautiful belt. Yeah, good shot. Fantastic. Didn't feel like I hit him all that much, George. I mean, he was fucking. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I'll find somebody in the works for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, where, where do you sit then? Yeah. Thanks. Cheers, Keith.